是发了，没错。Hello guys, welcome back. Hello, Shasha, hello. How's everyone doing? Hello, Tristan. Hello, welcome back, everyone. Let's see. We have news later on at uh eight fifteen a.m. Eastern time. So another ten minutes to go. We have ADP non fire employment change. It's gonna be super impactful, right? Um, here we have a quick look on gold, right? Daily chart. Um, we have the Fibonacci already on here from this downtrend, right? Currently we can see that this downtrend is retracing toward the upside, right? So it's retracing toward the upside. Forming um some double top double bottom here, right? Uh, previously on the weekly candle, right? We have double bottom, and daily as well. We have another rejections um yesterday, right? So three rejections to the upside. I believe at this moment the price can be still moving to the upside, but we are actually still in a range here, alright? Of this in this range, right? We still in this range. It can still be ranging. All right until the breakout or it can be breaking up if we have a good momentum to the upside right at this point um the closest level we can see right here is a 0 0.382 feet level right uh, which is let me move slightly this one a little bit right 0 0.382 level is approaching um very very soon but again this is not a strong fibonacci level not a strong fibonacci level so it might easily break to the upside, but we do have some confluence from the left side here. We have some confluence, right? And then here we have some confluence as well of the rejections. So we need to be careful on this, but overall today bias is bullish, right? For gold. Day bias, right? Because yesterday we have a strong bullish candlestick open. So today might be the continuation to the upside. Um, let's see if we can break 0 0.32 level and then approach slowly to 0 0.5. And then um, maybe we can find some retracement to the downside like this for us to look for a buy for continuations to upside like this. Right, this is what I'm personally looking for, but we have news. So later on, what I'm gonna do on the news is I'm gonna wait for the news to just move for one two minutes. Um, let it, let the volume settle down before I take any decisions or any uh excursions on buy limit or sell limit on gold. All right. So at this point, we will just wait for the news to happen first. 
Hello, Bohang. How will the news affect gold price? Can briefly explain. All right. Um, it affect US dollar at the first point. It will affect US dollar. So if US dollar goes strong, uh, that's mean gold gonna drop. If US dollar go weak, gold gonna go up. So we will never know. Even though if the news uh telling you that US dollar is strong, but sometimes the price here can move differently. All right. So we will only observe uh the volume later on but we will not try not to take any trade before the news or during the news so after the news happened like two minutes to three minutes just let the volume settle down then we might look into an entry but definitely not before or during the news because slippage can be happened if you place a buy or sell here right uh, later on if the news move up 100 pips you're gonna be in a stop loss uh, your stop loss will actually not be saving you, right? Because it's gonna have slippage. Your stop loss is not so fast to able to cash and close your trade. So you might close in a different way in a huge, a bigger stop loss. That's why I'm, I would not take any buy stop, sell stop, or any buy limit, sell limit during the news. Just let the news settle down for a few minutes, right? At least two minutes. And then we see what we can catch. Uh, after the news volume, right? So at this point, we need to write this down 0 0.382 feet level. So this is a very strong level here, right? So, and then we do have the structures broke above yesterday, all right? 0 0.2236 is broken yesterday to the upside, and then we are leaving a strong bullish candlestick yesterday so today again my bias is bullish right and then we have news at 8 15 am some time it's another five minutes to go right so i'm just going to remove these fibonacci indicators and we're going to move on to smaller time frame to check that um any other key levels that we should mark today so any questions before i move on to the smaller time frame here Yes, five minutes to the new. Hello, Louf. Welcome back. Hello, more to the news. The continuation to the downside. This for quickies. Uh, Louf, another five minutes to go. Maybe you should close it in profit, but we never know. The thing is, we never know. So, for our point of view, um, we have a structures broken to the upside at this point. So, um, bullish for me. Yes, right. And one hour, we have, uh, the same thing here. Right, 30 minutes, we can mark minor resistance down here, right, minor resistance for us to look for buy. And 50 minutes, um, same as well, 5 minutes, same as well. So price is basically just pushing up um, to the strong side, to the upside, right? At this point, um, if 0 0.382 feet level is broken, the next level um, we might be looking for is actually uh, it's actually up here another 100 pips to grow but again the news is going to be super super volatile so be careful guys if you are in a trade for gold or any other pair with us dollar so it's going to be super impactful perhaps every pair will be affected right um because uh it's us news all right it's about usd so later on we can see some crazy movement if the if the news is impactful we might move uh, 50 pips up or 50 pips down so just be careful on that um i personally will wait for one two minute for the news to settle down right so that's about it let's wait for another two and a half minutes here uh, at this moment personally later on i want to look for buy because the bias is bullish so let's wait for the news to happen maybe if we have some uh, liquidity grab to the downside if it hangs somewhere around here after the news volume settle down right maybe i can take a buy here for continuations to the upside right that's my personal approach for today but again we need to depend on the volume later on right so another resistance down here so second level of defense for me to go for a buy and then sell today is not so much in my favor uh, because daily wise we are closing strong to bullish side 
if the price is just pushing pushing to the upside maybe i will take a look into a sell at 1666.7 but 0 0.382 daily fit level here um it's not so convincing for me unless we have strong confirmations later on uh bohan okay the lot size the thing is if you want to determine a lot size first you you should determine how much percentage you're willing to risk per day right for example you want to risk one percent per day or 1.5 percent per day from that again the next one you should know is how many trades you're going to limit yourself by taking per day you're going to take like five trades or two trades and then or maximum 10 trades i don't know but for me it's like one to two trades so my daily risk is 1.5 percent right and then uh for gold for example uh my one of my uh, one trade is like 20 to 25 pip stop loss so that is i'm gonna use five lot so five lot uh for 20 pip stop loss is gonna be one percent so that's how i'm gonna count it so first you need to determine how many percentage you planning to risk per day all right uh suggestible is one to two percent not more than two percent uh the la the the less is the better all right and then from the daily risk you sh you want to risk it and then move on to how many trades you plan to take per day uh the best is to limit it as well and then only the last thing is decide the lot size right for example you want to, if you want to take 10 trades then for sure your lot size is going to be smaller if you want to risk like uh if you want to risk like one percent so maybe you should only take 0 0.5 lot per trade for gold right if you have like 10 trades per day so it depends on the number of trades also the risk that you are willing to lose so we have the news open here actually um it's not it's not moving so crazy right you just move down very quickly um at this point we don't have a top weight so let's see right this is our first key level though first key level it flipped down strongly and then it's stuck now let's see All right is it still gonna push down or is it gonna bounce but at this point 30 minutes seems super bearish um, seems like it's trying to respect the bottom here let it be let it be i'm not in any trade guys so maybe if the price uh close with some rejections here i'm gonna consider to take a buy limit on 16.54 or 16.54.5 right right after this one minute candle close um, but again we shall see Oh, oh, cool, strong, strong bullish. At this point, um, I believe thirty minutes is flipping up as well. So, um, maybe we need to wait for five minute closures here, right? It respected exactly on the first key level I marked here, but again, it's news. We can't predict anything to happen. All right, we have a fake out to the downside. Now it's pumping up to the upside. All right, so bias for today. Um, at this point, I believe it's correct. Right, not in any trade yet. Um, but at this moment, let's see how this five minute gonna close. I would say um personally i'm gonna be looking for buy uh, 30 minute 15 minute close bullish right looking for buy um, should we just wait for 8 30 then so that's the thing all right so i might look for the buy at this point here right if we coming back down but um it's not going to be a buy limit here uh, i just need to wait because the timing is not to my trading time yet so i might be waiting for 8 30 a.m eastern time right
Contribution to the downside. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, we have a strong push down. Nice. Right, so here, um, let's wait for this five minute candle closures. Right, and then 50 minute is closing super bullish here. So it's too late to catch any buy setup. So we just let it be, and then we shall see. Right, we shall see. Is 30 minute gonna close super bullish like this? Right, the next 30 minute candle can grab liquidity to the downside somewhere around here for the continuations to the upside. So the next one, if this close bullish strong to the upside, uh, we might move. I might move my you know my buy zone somewhere lower here. But right now, it still depend on how this 30 minute gonna close. Let's see. 30 minute. Oh, five minutes closing in another 15 seconds here. I have not placed any buy limit again. So at this point, I'm just waiting for 8.30 am Eastern time. The move already happened here. So five minute push up, all right? Close bullish here. Next five minute opening here now, all right? Pump up, pump down. We have a minor pump down. Oh, the price is just pushing, pushing up. So it's important to really wait for these 30 minute closures, right? If this 30 minute just flip back and close bearish, then it's a actually whole different story. So let's just wait for 8.30 a.m. Eastern time, right? Because if this 30 minute flip bearish, so uh, when the next new 30 minute candle open, it can really turn to the bullish bearish move. And one hour is going to be bearish as well. So uh, we the best is just wait for 8.30 and Eastern time. We have another 10 minutes to go. Is COMEX open? What is COMEX open? Uh, it's a uh, ADP news, all right. Uh, pre New York open is gonna be eight thirty a.m. Eastern time. Uh, NYSE open is gonna be nine thirty a.m. Eastern time. Right, we have some consolidations at this point. Yeah, I saw that. I just stressed about it. Um, I believe that they have no mentions of, about COMEX open specifically. I mean, the market open from the, I mean, the Monday to Friday, but then it mentions every day what is the time that is the COMEX open. We have like NYMAX and COMEX. Yeah, it's, it's about like Sunday 5 p.m. to Friday 4 p.m. FOMC is actually 2 p.m. Eastern time later on, All right? Um, if you are saying like the Singapore time is going to be 2 a.m., right? So 2 p.m. Eastern time, we have FOMC later. I'm going to be sleeping at that point, All right? At this point, 30 minutes is pushing strongly here. Yeah, I'll be sleeping as well. Yeah, I try to look for COMEX open time, so...
EFT. I never heard about this though, to be honest. Uh, open outcry trading is conducted from 8 a.m. until electronic trading is conducted. Yeah, I think it doesn't matter much, to be honest. So let's see. All right, five minutes pushing strongly. We have two rejections from the top here, and but we are mid of nowhere at thirty minutes. We have a clean traffic to zero point three eight two daily feed level. So the trade I will be looking for is a liquidity grab to the downside for the continuations to the upside, at least to zero point three eight two feed level. So that's why we're going to be waiting for the next thirty minute candle open but at this point we still waiting oh sheesh is pushing so strong damn All right um i'm not taking any trade but seems like the price is just gonna fly up at this point um uh, if it tap before before 8 30 a.m sometimes then it's hard for me to really take a trade here Five minutes to go. Let's see, man. Let's see, guys. All right, it's retracing, retracing here, retracing strongly. So anyone is trading FOMC later, let me know in the chat. All right, who is trading FOMC? I want to see. Mohan, um, where are you from? Where are you from? What, which country are you from? Nice, nice. I, it's been like years. I don't even look at FOMC, but I know sometimes we have crazy move, right? Five minutes pushing down. Um, here at this point, we have another three, four minutes to go for this candlestick to close, and then we want to see some um liquidity grab to the downside for continuations to the upside. Oh, Xiao Hong Su, yeah, yeah. I post some stuff there, but uh, Xiao Hong Su is very, very skeptical. So I keep getting banned from my post. So what pair you trade? Oh, you you from Malaysia? Hello, hello. So what pair you trade? Like, what is your main pair? Like, you trade gold or you trade um any forex pair? Hello, Top G. Hello, hello. Tusan from Canada. Nice, nice. So I think Canada, your time is gonna be still in the morning or afternoon because my time here is gonna be uh midnight. I'm not gonna be trading. Oh, nice US thirty, nice one. <laughs> Pika, Pikachu, yeah. I mean, because because you know trading this trading and then CFD is very very sensitive. Uh, the government control them very well. So keep getting banned. I was like, I was almost giving up posting there, you know, on Xiaohongshu. Fuck. Oh, nice. So it's the same, Tucson is the same time with EST. Yes. Uh, I'm a full time trader here. Yeah. Full time. I'm doing funded prop firm. And currently looking into uh classes, courses, and then trading community for Malaysia. Yeah, right now trying to launch some community. Yeah, with a uh, athlete kind of thing. Malaysia, Singapore. Yes. So again, two minutes to go. Let's see. All right, let's see. Right, if you can find something like this. Are you guys trading alone or you guys are trading um you know with some group? Nice Pikachu. I'm trading with prop firm right now and also soon we'll be trading with some own personal account. Alone, nice, nice. 
Luf, for sure, you can join for sure. I'm trying to make things up right now. Uh, one one is the you know our trading group HM trading group, right? With Brian, another one is actually uh a community for Malaysians and Singapore traders. Um, just different one. Nubi jeans alone. You guys are not alone here. We are all together, right? <laughs> we are all together. I'm traveling alone, just my right hand with me. I, I, you still have your like right hand. You are you are good enough. Personal account and prop firm money won't feel the same way. Yes, yes. At the same point, at some point, prop firm challenge actually helped help me as a trader to be more disciplined with the rules. Because if I'm trading with my own money, I will never have a drawdown rules. I will never have a daily drawdown for my own personal account. My own personal account is gonna be win or blow. <laughs> You get me those time when I don't when I didn't start with any prop firm. So prop firm actually helped help me in uh discipline in my trades and also really really trying to limit my loss. Uh Tusan, yes. The Discord is gonna be open for public. The Discord gonna be not open for public. I mean open for global for sure. Uh December we are preparing it. Everything is trying to be launched at uh whoa holy fuck wait 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 guys look at the chart here it pushed up strongly without a bottom week so it might flip to the downside here it can be a liquidity grab and then flip to the downside um, at this point still pushing up strongly 15 minutes without a bottom week as well so but i'm not gonna be taking any trade yes i'm definitely gonna form a group to share trading strategies yes own account you can use forbidden jutsu that's why i need i cannot be using forbidden jutsu so i trade with proper you know go big or go home man funding what is man funding is it a problem right the discord is definitely gonna be for gobler but uh i also be planning on a local community but that is more for retail traders like for trading own account instead of trading proper account for the local community. So oh we have seen this flip already. Alright, as I mentioned, when we have no bottom weight like this and the price just fly up, it can be a liquidity grab and come back down to create the bottom weight or we call the bottom the body for the bottom right. It flip down and create the body for the bearish side. And then it can actually fill up the weight at least half of this. But I'm not in this trade. But if it, this is a US 30, then maybe I would take this. But this is go. Um, sometimes it can be tricky with no bottom weight kind of thing, right? It can came back down just a little bit, right, to fulfill the bottom weight and then fly it up again. So this is the nasty part about go. But if go is trying to come back down, it's actually good for me as well because i'm gonna be looking for a buy looking for a buy so 30 minute um let's say 55. right i'm gonna be putting it here Fifty four point eight. Five. Right, let's see if if the price is gonna come back to my buy limit here. The chance is quite low, but maybe we need to wait until this one hour candle to close. Um 30 minute wise we have strong bullish candlestick, so I kind of confident with this minor support here for the continuation to the upside, but we will need the price to come back down for me a little bit more, right? Uh, Bohang, I feel a lot of account, reach a lot of account, not just a uh, challenge account, but funded account, right? I reach a lot of account before, before I really pass and before really being consistent. Even though now, still trying to be more consistent, 
with the trade and the risk, uh, with the gain as well, with the trade, uh, trying to limit a lot with unwanted trades. So 4.8. And then we have uh, 2.8. See? Yep, correct. And we don't have a take profit, so let it be. So shall we? Shall we get this trade later on? Right, it's a buy limit here. Hopefully we can um cash this. Alright, if the price is gonna be coming back, then I'm gonna be in. But if the price is gonna be flying up, then I'm gonna be missing the trades already. But at this point, should I look for the sell? But no for me because daily bias is bullish again, so I'm looking for continuation to upside. And this seems like this whole week can be filled. So that's why I'm not looking for any sell at this moment. Right? Hopefully, hopefully it can come back to tap my entry here. Uh, that's going to be my only trade for gold today. One trade for per day for gold only. US 30, we can have like two to three trades. Let's see. That's what I like to hear, continuation to the downside, I see. Hello, Brian just ended work and he will be here very, very soon. Uh, Bohang just passed 10K account and burned it after one week of live trading. Uh, Bohang, that's actually um, very common, you know, like you pass it, you fail it, and then during your life, the live trade, live, the funded account is actually the hardest part because if you don't have a profit target, you try to aim for like 20 percent you look at uh you look at the my ff or any prop firms advertisement they are showing you all the big pays out then they make you think that you should aim big but actually the first month don't aim aim, aim for big profit instead you can aim for even like one to two percent profit target for the first month even though you have one winning trade just call it a month at least you get back the refund you you get back the refund of your account because for example my ff they have like 100 excuse me 100 and 112 percent refund and then they have phase one phase phase two bonus so the first month just aim for minimal minimal right minimal profit one to two percent for me i aim for three to five percent so when you get it get back the refund so you basically invest nothing in it. You have the 10K life account and you get back all your money and extra money for yourself. So you get back the account and then you risk nothing. Then you can maybe aim for more 3 to 5%. Yeah. Be because I'm, I'm, I'm the one that actually make a huge mistake, right? I aim for like 20%. <laughs> I have like a 200k evolution funded and then I I made 39k profit all right at the last week of the at the last very last week uh, perhaps last few days of the payout and then I breached my account from the daily drawdown so I, I breached it until 33k yeah 8 30 30k so I, I my 5% drawdown is slightly over and then I lose the total account uh, also lose the profit I made right it's not the money i made but the thing is you know when you achieve this far and then you lose everything because of greed because of you are not stopped trading that's why now i just aim for very very small gain and hopefully uh with consistency and if the market is okay uh, with the strategies can get it for every month three to five percent is very good as well you know now i just feel like uh, a whole different approach here. Yeah, I learned from mistake. Big, huge mistake here. Huge mistake. I will never forget about that though. So 50 minutes coming back down, right? Hopefully we can get this, all right? I'm still not in any trade. I'm looking for the buy limit for continuations to the upside, but uh, I'm not gonna be buying up here. It's too high for me. So let's see if the price is gonna be coming back down, right? And for our point of view, um, we are closing soon. One hour is closing soon as well. But um, if this one hour flip bearish, um, it's a different story. If it close bearish, 
yes, it's going to be a different story here. So need to care, need to be careful on one hour, but maybe it will just close slightly bullish and then the next one hour can actually hit my buy limit, then it will be the best. Uh, my stop loss is going to be 20 to 25 pips for my buy limit, so somewhere below this candlestick, right? 1652.8, depends on where is my entry, so my stop loss is going to be 20 to 25 pips, right? But anyone, if, if you are not new here and you understand the risk I'm taking the setup, right? If you want to take similar trade, um, go ahead. You can also adjust your stop loss. You can be like risking smaller or you want to risk better, right? Or you want to aim for bigger profit, go ahead. But again, look at this here. Do not copy trade blindly and always trade at your own risk. Right? Welcome, Jack. One of my friends is 1 million funded on profums and only aim for 1% per month, which is very conservative. Tusan, um, if he is 1 million funded, so he is right, right? So when someone is able to be 1 million funded and still having the account for at least like 2 to 3 months, you know, the things that they are doing is totally make sense, you know. If they can be long term profitable with 1%, that's actually very good, you know, it's actually very good. Because probably after the first month of uh, trading the funded account, when you get back all the refund, all the bonus, basically the money is free for you, you get me? If you like get the account, for example, you get 100k account, your, your registration fee is for example, 500 US dollars. So after the first month of the funded, Right, you get your refund and you get your profit speed, all the bonus together. That 100k is actually free money to you, right? You get back all your money, you invest nothing in this 100k. But the thing is, are you willing to just make like small gains consistently instead of aiming for like crazy, crazy big gains? I did not connect my account with TradingView, I don't think so. Uh, my FS has that. Only certain broker, only certain broker allow uh, trading directly from trading directly from trading view. I don't think MinerFS allowed it. So I'm using my phone to trade actually. So my phone is actually just here. So every time I'm in a trade, I'm gonna be very fast. Uh, set my break even. Once I hit like uh, the profit, and then I will just be in break even very very soon. So at this point again, um, we are at. 8.41 a.m. Eastern time, 15 minutes is going to close very soon. At this point, it seems like you want to close bearish. So hopefully the next candle can tap my buy limit and then we can see if we can get a continuation to the upside. But if the price is just falling down, then I'm going to be in a stop loss. So let's see, right? Game of probabilities. So none, nothing is 100% here, right? So again, let's see if the probability is going to work. Yeah. Oh, pushing down, pushing down. Let's see. Then. Oh, the the. Oh shit! But one hour is going to be flipping bearish here. So the thing I don't like is one hour will be flipping bearish. And if one hour close bearish, then it's not in my favor. But I'm just going to be leaving my buy limit here, right? I'm not changing at this point. Um, let's see if it's going to work out, right? We have a strong push down now. Strong push, strong push down. Be careful, guys. Right? I'm not in yet. So another... Five pips. <clears throat> and again, my risk is for this trade is only one percent, and my only taking one trade for this gold account per day. So this is a very very minimal trade. Oh shit! What just happened? Right, I'm in here. I'm in here, guys. I'm in. So let's see. Then we're gonna be looking for at least here. 
yep just a 20 pip stop loss i believe it's a small risk for me just one percent and the only trade i'm taking today we shall see guys we shall see Oh, strong push down. Damn. <clears throat> right. Hopefully, it will respect the previous 30 minute low here. Um, but at this point, what concerns me is actually one hour candlestick. One hour candlestick suddenly flip bearish with a strong rejection to the upside. Um, but if this flip to bullish again, then it will be good. To my favors of the trade but if this one hour close bearish then um, it will be a high potential for me to really uh, be closing this trade at a stop loss right so my risk gonna be again here is gonna be 10 uh, I would say 1% 1% risk So we have some rejections on one minute, but it doesn't matter. It's one minute, right? Five minute pushing up without a bottom wick. Um, it's coming back down. Shall we? Shall we go up now? So again, I will be uh, if I have like ten pips and fifteen pips in profit, so I'm gonna move my stop loss in break even. If I have like ten to fifteen pips, so it's like a very tight uh management here. But the thing is, I don't want my trade to be in a loss when I'm in the profit. So that's why I'm going to be moving my stop loss to break even real quick. Um, the, and right now, we don't have a decent bottom weight here. So this can be a liquidity grab to the now side. This is not looking good at 15 minutes, to be honest. Um, 30 minutes, still fine. Let's see. All right, let's see. Pushing up. Right, with go um need a lot of patience here, right? Because it takes some time to for it to play it up. Uh, my stop loss here is sixteen twenty eight twenty pips stop loss. Go is dumping soon together with the indicer once again, ready guys. Cut pretty go making high lows. Uh, at this point, it can be a dump to the downside, right? If the price want to really uh. You know close bearish on one hour it can be really you know the price trying to move down so i take this trade because the first thing is i have a bias of bullish right today bias for me is bullish uh, i want it to actually tap 0.382 daily fib level continuations to the upside that's why uh when the price came down all right and, and make some liquidity grab or i would say retracement i decided to take a buy limit you know to see if the price gonna retrace to the upside right continuation to the upside so at this point um five minutes doesn't look good right with this small bottom week here it doesn't look good for me um 15 minutes doesn't look good as well so but at this point i'm not in break even yet so just gonna be uh, patience here and see what is gonna be happen uh, worst to the worst we have the stop loss saving me right 20p stop loss definitely reasonable right definitely reasonable here so and one percent risk here with my 100k account challenge phase two so i believe worth to take the risk let's see Even though a sell here is nice, so actually the sell from the top, uh, just the thing is not a key lever and it's not in my bias. So I didn't take a sell from the top here, even though we have a nice rejection at first. And then this one is uh, during the news, actually, right? Five minutes after the news, we have another rejection. So from the top is actually just 30 to 40 pips. 
yeah nothing to mention about so we have a slight push up now hopefully we can get like 10 to 15 pips in profit then i'm going to remove my stop losses break even and then when we have 20 pips i might consider to close my profit um like 80 percent of my profit in 20 pips and then just let it run for the rest to uh, tp All right let's see so still pushing Yes, um, five minutes we are closing bullish here. Good sign, good sign. Uh, 15 minutes we are still long way to go. Hopefully, 30 minutes can flip bullish again. That will be the best scenario. If 30 minutes flip bullish, then I will be super confident for the continuation to the upside. Again, one hour is flipping bullish again. Nice, nice. All right, nice. Five minutes pushing up, pushing up. We have almost 10 pips. Um, um, I'm going to get ready if we find break even stop loss here and then 4.8 and should I right I'm in break even guys right so let's see if this find me going to respect this one and just continue to the upside hopefully please don't come back to my entry right and then if I have like 20 pips stop loss I'm going to be closing 80% of my profit. So I would say, um, let's say 16, let me count, 16, 56.5, I will close 80%. Close 80%. All right. Um, depend on the time as well, but if yeah right pushing pushing so oh damn coming back yeah on point here thing i worry about is the 15 minute candlestick right now otherwise all the candlestick look perfectly fine for me Oh shit, coming back, no. Right, pushing, pushing. Pushing, pushing. Let's go, let's go. A bit more, a bit more. I'm going to be closing my 80%, alright? Leaving 20% runner. Let's fucking go. Come on. Come on. If we burn our live account, do we get 10% off for the same account register? Yes you will get 10% off uh, for my FF. E even though you don't get it, we have like 10% discount for for what? For the for the Halloween. Yeah, Halloween discount. When is the next new? Aki Ofa, uh, the next new is FOMC, Impactful News, is at um, 2 p.m. Eastern Time. How to register? All right, you just go to the account. Uh, you just go to this one minute guys i show i show that guy. all right oh shit wait oh wait i'm gonna be closing here 80 percent right just why it did not what the fuck I cannot lock in my account. So, uh, Bohang, you just go to account and fees. Account and fees. Account and fees. And then you scroll to the downside. That's a reset. All right. Account and fees. Uh, scroll to the downside. And then there's right reset. And then you can get 10% off. Yeah, this is correct. This is correct as well. Oh, pushing, pushing nicely. Should we get a TP? And right now, I will set my TP um, at 85, right? Yeah, 80, eight, yeah, so 40 pips here. 
excuse me for the peeps um we already closed the first first trade already closed oh what the fuck so if you see here account and fees right um bohang if you are here take a look on this uh scroll to the downside if you see this at my ff evolutions reset and then select options and then you get all the 10 percent off right choose so this is actually 10 percent and for example 100k is 449 i think the original price is 500 i'm, I'm i don't remember that right welcome welcome what is the pending order please it's already here bro aki offer i already in buy i already closed 80 percent um running trade here you know like we already close uh go uh what plus how many pips let me count uh, just a moment here 16 pips just 16 pips uh wait 17 17 pips oh shit just 17 pips what a shame man four lot by close at um the time we close is let me check right the time we close is 8 52 a.m eastern time 8 52 a.m eastern time right close 17 pips here followed by and then still have another one lot um, running here towards tp all right um i believe this trade here is exactly on point here very nice we have a minor drawdown like not even 10 pips drawdown right now still pushing to the upside so overall today um i would say nice and nice analysis on the daily so we have the direction correct for today um being super patient enough to wait for this retracement here and then here we can see that this nice push up let's fucking go all right and we have another 15 pips away to close my runner here nice 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 one nice trade <laughs> Luke say at least it's seven pips more than 10 pips yeah yeah it's simple it's simple oh close 80 percent how um it's very simple just you know uh you have a trade and then you just press it when you close when you press close all right when you press close here right show something like this right so for example if you have five lot all right just modify the five lot to four lot then that's going to be 80 percent right for example you have one lot so 80 percent is going to be 0 0.8 so just going to be closing 0 0.8 and then you leaving 0 0.2 is going to be your 20 percent if you want to close 50 percent you press 0 0.5 yes that's it yeah you can definitely search it on youtube and then it's clearer with the all the tutorials here all right 15 minutes is closing bullish here so next we can see some um maybe the grab to the downside for continuation to the upside definitely definitely in my favor here so hopefully um we can catch a uh, 40 pips for the runner not closing at this moment um let's see how this five minute gonna close right but i might consider to close somewhere around here because we have a lot of rejections all right but at this point just aiming for 40 pips is a one lot runner here and let's see all right oh one minute push nice to the upside perfect perfect here right the when the thing is when one hour broke down from the previous candlestick i was so worried that he's gonna turn bearish right but at this point um it's quite confident to the upside perhaps i should maybe leave my runner to red 0.382 level right but it depends it depends if we have volume later on but i'm definitely gonna be closing my trade um i believe before 9 30 a.m eastern time because i'm gonna be focusing on us 30 later right sometimes 
right now I feel like trading gold is more relaxed. <laughs> gold is super relaxed, man. Um Thank you. Welcome Bohang. Uh Tenku Adam. I'm not that good, right? I'm just trying to stick to my plan here. Um fortunately, luckily today this trade working out. Right, I think I call this out and then before the trade trying to move down, I just place this only one trade, uh not even trying to skew my trade to the downside. Uh this is actually 20 pip stop loss and then close partial. We have like trade running here. Yeah, I thought I'm gonna be closing 20 pips at 80%, but it's just 17 pips, right? So I miscount on the partial close, right? It should be at least all right, one to one with the risk we are taking at the first point right so 30 15 minutes is closing very very soon right above these structures so we can definitely um expect some continuations to the upside um i might just close at 40 pips but uh the ultimate tp is gonna be 0 0.382 feet lower as today bias is bullish right so not every day gonna be winning day. So that's gonna be day that the market just played out with our analysis. So as long as the risk manage, we can go for it. I'm from Malaysia, Li Hao. Let it run. Oh, look at this guy. <laughs> look at this fall. So luckily it's a two twenty percent runner. So I'm I'm pretty fine with even though if come back to break even. fire trade but be careful guys this seems like a bit crazy right it's 9 a.m eastern time um if the price came back to the the break even it might be a uh, another buy though it might be another buy but i'm not gonna be in because it's not gonna be a uh, discipline for me if i'm gonna take another buy but if this price come back to the green zone right it can mean for another buy right but i will not be in all right again i will not be in so i'm already on break even here so let's see whoa be careful be careful because of the bearish momentum is kind of strong at this point so Good to close here, eighty percent, right? And then let's see if the price is gonna retrace her. Uh, I'm still leaving my runner to go. Not gonna touch it, right? Not gonna touch it until forty pips. Yeah, I would say just forty pips enough for me. Yeah, forty pips. Forty pips will do. Um, I'm not gonna be aiming for zero point three two level. That's quite quite far for daily, um, because we don't have strong momentum today, and we already moved a lot to the upside. So, to zero point three eight two level, maybe it will happen tomorrow instead of today, right? Still surviving here, still surviving. Um, already close eighty percent, so only left twenty percent to go. Hello, Brian. Hello, Infinity. You are in lot of profit. Congratulations. I bet Brian took many buys and made many money. We need to ask them. Uh, what is my risk reward? Uh, around one to one and one to two. Sometimes if we have like good volume, um, for US 30, sometimes we can get one to three or one to four. Or not really one to four, but one to three. Sometimes you can get on US thirty. But gold, we really need to depend on the volume, right? Because today volume is not that crazy. So I close eighty percent here. But if you talk about risk reward, the thing is sometimes even though like for example just now I risk twenty percent, right? I uh, not twenty percent. I risk twenty pips. But it just draw down for like five pips here, and then when we are up. For 10 pips, I'm going to move my stop loss and break even. So uh, that's actually at some point kind of like a managing the risk 
by moving my stop loss to break even. So at that point, the risk is actually also lower. But from the start, right, when we take the entry, so the risk reward for this is actually one to two. But at the point I close 80% here, so uh, the thing is like one to one only, right? But I still have a 20% runner uh, for it to really come back to the top here. Future me, guys. What is your trade today? And Li Hao, where are you from? So you are from Malaysia or Singapore? Oh, so we have a strong push up. I'm coming back, hopefully break all the high here and tap my TP. And then we will be looking for US 30 real soon. And at this point, um, 30 minutes seems like it's respecting this broken structure. So it can be a liquidity grab and continuations to the upside, right? Oh, flying, nice, 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 respected very well. So if this one hour flip up, then we can look for at least half of this weak field, right? At least to 16.58. Pushing. Pushing, pushing. <clears throat> oh, five minute doesn't look good, but fifteen minute looking good here, right? Fifteen looking good because we have already a strong rejection, so it can really flip to the upside at this point, right? To actually create the top body, right? Flip to a bullish candlestick, right? Create the top body here. Let's go. We shall see. You need a feature. How to feature you? How? Good evening, Ajalina. You from Nepal? Hello, hello. How are you doing? How's everyone doing here? All right. Um. Again, another ten minute. We will be looking at our baby, which is US thirty here. Can't wait. Right. We have already strong bearish bearish candlestick since yesterday. So today might be looking for continuations to the downside. All right, one minute still pushing up strongly. Um hopefully we can get this here. Yep. Seven seconds. Oh, strong push, right? Fifteen minutes is gonna be flipping. Thirty minutes gonna be flipping as well. One hour gonna be flipping as well at this point. So we can see some continuations to upside. Uh, if I say uh, if you want to be safe here, right? Uh, I would say close at sixteen fifty eight, right? Then it's gonna be safe. Uh, the aggressive way is gonna be closing at. 1658.8 or 1658.9 right at this point i will see about uh, i will see the reactions and also the time later on if we are near to uh 9 15 am some time i might be consider considering uh closing the trade slightly earlier right so still have one lot going on all right 20 percent runner Hello, Aki Ofa from NZ New Zealand. Wow. We have people around the world. Loof cell is still open. Nice, nice, nice. Maybe today can be continuations. Uh maybe you can close partials. We never know. Oh nice. 30 minutes slipping up here. Oh, let's let me check. Let me check my 
runner. My runner is running. Alright, oh, why is it lagging? What the fuck? The account is lagging, man. Oh shit, this drop is ugly. Alright, five minutes. Um, it's not so in favor. We have a very small bottom wick here. 50 minutes, it need to flip up and close bullish for the continuations to the upside. If not, it's gonna be not so convincing on the buy. Right? So again um let's see how this 15 minute gonna close and then i'm gonna decide to leave it running or i'm gonna close my runner earlier right let's see still pushing So again, US 30 is going to be real soon. We're going to be looking at this real soon. Oh shit, this is like shitting down. We have a structure here. Oh shit. Right, guys. Um, right now, I'm going to be switching to US 30 real quick. Right? Before that, I'm going to be sending a few messages to the group. And just called out the US 30 traders because they might not be interested in gold, so they are just waiting for US 30. So just let them know I'm about to start with US 30. Starting in five minutes, guys. So still pushing up, I'm still leaving my runner, still leaving my runner here. So any questions guys regard of this gold trade, any questions you want to ask about why I take this trade or why I still holding the trade or anything you want to ask, feel free to comment in the chat and let me know guys. All right, for those who are new here, right, feel free to ask questions because um, we are here to actually learn together. I'm not, I'm not teaching, but I'm sharing uh, my own analysis so we can ask any questions here. Oh, still running to the top side. Um, if 50 minute close bullish, then I'm gonna be holding my runner, right? If 50 minute close slightly bearish, then I'm gonna be closing. So let's see another three minutes to go, right? Three minutes to go. Hopefully, it will close bullish for me, right? Hopefully, pushing up, pushing up. Let's go. Let's fucking go. Thirty second. Yep. If this five minute close below this minor structures, yes, we have a huge chance for the continuations to the upside. Uh, can I sell go around six sixteen six zero? Um, maybe if you have confirmation, you can do that, right? It's a key lever, but it's not a strong rejection lever. But if you have confirmations like this, all right. One rejection and then you can take a sell on the second second rejections. You can take a sell if you have this. But this is gonna be uh very late later on. I think it's gonna be around like eleven or twelve AM sometime unless we have huge uh momentum during the NYSD open. All right. You can take a look something like that, all right, but again manage your risk, uh know what you are risking and what you are looking for in profit so again i'm just waiting for this candlestick to close for me to decide 
uh, if I'm going to close my trade fully or not. What is my entry price? Uh, my entry for buy is here. I already took a buy, close 80%, uh, close 70 pips on four lot buy. All right. My my buy limit is here just now. All right. Already running in break even. We have a 20% runner here. All right. My buy is actually here. My buy is here. Yeah, my buy is here. So again, one minute to go. Seems like this is going to be closing bullish, bearish, bullish, bearish, hopefully bullish. <laughs> Just playing around at the entry side. So um, again, if this close bearish, then I might be considering to close my 20% runner. Let's see. Alright, 16 seconds to go. Come on, push up a bit. Come on. Alright, it closed bullish though, so I'm gonna leave my trade um towards TP. I will say I will change my TP to 58. Yeah, 58. 58. Right, and then Brian is here as well. Hello. Yo. Yo, what's up? What's up? What's up? So <coughs> we're going to be on US 30. All right, guys. So that's about it for gold. And US 30 gang type plus one for me. All right. I right, want. I uh, just want to see if all the US thirty traders is here. Then we're gonna start with our daily analysis, right? Type plus one if you are here, US thirty traders. You have a dinner, bro. Yep. Today OT man then. What the fuck? We are still at zero point five. Damn. All right, so um, this is US 30 guys. So we can see that we are actually respected 0 0.5 daily feed level here, right? We are respecting 0 0.5 daily feed level. Let's just mark it real quick. <clears throat> Too bad today is uh, noodles with fish, not hyphen with fish. <laughs> right, 0 0.5 daily feed level. So how I measure this Fibonacci is actually from the top to the bottom and then because this is a downtrend and it's retracing to the upside so I measure from the top to the bottom to see what level we are sitting at. Right now we are directly sitting at 0 0.5 daily feed level and then we are actually respected um, yesterday and the day before. Right? So we respected very well, we have a minor fake out. And then now um, is trying to be continuations to the downside. So I would say my bias is going to be bearish. I think Luke is going to be happy to hear that. Yeah, FMC is 2 o'clock, right? If I'm not mistaken. 2 p.m. Uh, 2 p.m. Eastern time. So it's going to be midnight. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Waiting for nine a.m. Nice go, nice catch for the buy go. Yeah, but it's quite slow. Still, yeah, still like, leaving, leaving a runner. Still leaving a runner here. I was looking in the MRT. Was like, damn, this is fire. You know? Yeah, but this one is like very console. Yeah, quite slow today. Um, not much volume. Maybe it already moved up a lot since the London. So right now it's just some consolidations. Um, I'm still putting my twenty percent runner to my TP thirty pips here, thirty two pips. Um, Ooh. break even or TP here, twenty percent runner. Like this one, is... this like one lot. Uh, yeah, yeah. 
Right, so back to US 30 here, guys. So today, again, bias is bearish. And then um, waiting for 9.30 AM Eastern Time, NYC open. Do not copy trade blindly, trade your own reads. All right, that's the thing. So uh, let's take a look on daily closer. We have previously huge rejections from the top, um, closing bearish. And then right now, we still have a week to fill to the bottom. All right, week to fill at least 50% uh, more to fill. Right, so this one here bearish and then this one came back up, respected the previous high uh, slightly, right, surpassed slightly and then came back down. So today can be a continuation to the downside or it can come back to 0 0.5 feet level before it goes down. So it can do something like this. If you have bullish momentum, you can tap this and then go down. But this is not what I want, right? But I just want maybe some retracement to the upside then continuation to the downside for today. So um, we have another 10 minutes to go. Let's move on to a smaller time frame and see what is our other key levels. But at that point, I just want to mark this um, daily previous low, right? Previous daily low, right? Just going to mark it here. And four hours, um, we have the same as well. We are breaking these structures, right? We are breaking these structures to the downside. Um, if this four hours is going to be closing below. Right, one hour point of view, um, super bearish as well. And then uh, we have a minor resistance on the top, right? 30 minutes is the same as well. And we are in actually in this zone here, 15 minutes is the same as well. Right, 50 minutes, we have a minor resistance here again, but I'm not going to mark it, but we need to be careful of this as well. So another 10 minutes, let's see what I'm going to be looking for. Um, again, I'm not going to be looking for impulsive trade anymore. Instead, I'm going to be looking for trade with one confirmation, right? One confirmation means, right, if the price during the first five minutes of NYSE open, um, for example, it closed bearish or it closed um, bearish like this, and then the first one, two minutes, it go up like this, right? When the first one two minute go up like this, and then suddenly when we have one minute candlestick closing bearish, and then I'm gonna take on the second candlestick for the continuations to the downside. So something like this, right? So I'm gonna be taking if this is the first five minute trade of NYSE open. So is it gonna be uh, one confirmations? But the thing is, right? We need to have one confirmation. Uh, if only if the price move up. And then give us one confirmation for reversal that I'm going to be jumping in for sell, right? If the price in other case move down and then move down um, without any reversal sign and suddenly we have one minute reversal and then I'm going to take on and buy for continuation to the upside. This is all depend on the first five minute of NYSE open, which is 9.30 am some time to 9.35 pm some time. So if... Yeah, if, if we don't get this, then we're not going to take the trade, right? So this is not 100% uh, we're going to be in the trade. And then after 9.35 and some time, then we're going to be looking for two confirmations, right? Go is waiting for FOMC. Every New York sessions before FOMC is always constantly. Okay, I think, yes, you are right. Um, Yusuf expecting up to 1663. It can happen, it can happen, but uh, we don't have volume now. Continuation to the downside and down. Luf want to sell. You don't think go Luf down to, to before up. <laughs> because yeah. USD is, uh, is up, then the equity is down. If I'm not mistaken, right? It's not mistaken. Yeah. Uh, Yusuf, I already took a buy, so it already came back to 54 area. So I already took a buy just now. I think the move already happened. Now it might be consolidating or slowly moving to the top. All right? So let's see. Um, yeah, I agree, man. Feel like closing my gold trade. You know what? I'm just going to close my gold trade here. Right? I just. You can't do anything, bro. Just yeah, I, I don't want to leave it um because I want to focus here. I don't want to even look at go. I think it's so, remaining tips, bro. Just get the remaining tips. Yeah, it's just like five tips, so I just close it. <laughs> I close already, bro. Yes, sir. Cool. Let's go for US thirty. Yeah, 
I would say US thirty is the bank. Uh. I would say it's the bank. Let's see. All right. Yep. <coughs> we have seven minutes to go. Today's market, uh, sorry, today's market gotta be like. Hopefully, there's one hundred pips move before the F one. I miss one hundred pips. I miss one hundred pips. It's been so long. I did not catch any one hundred pips move. It's been so long, man. So long. At least half, gotta... half a year. Yeah. So later, if you are trading funded, um, what we actually talk to is basically we recover your funded. First. Then we only talk about yes, the remaining yes. Yeah. Hopefully. But for but, me, I'm going to trade as usual. Yeah. But I'm going to leave funded after 10 and some time. Yeah. When the volume I'll is be, more settled down. Correct, correct. Right, Do so. 500 pips. Damn. Yeah, nice. Wow, that sell is here. Cool. Oh, nice. Your sell is nice. Yeah. 500 pips since when? Oh, 900 level, huh? He took the sell at, I think, it's like nine, 900 plus, 960. He sell, he sell yeah. is here, right? <coughs> I think he took yeah. some sell on the top and then he had sell That's here okay. as well. Yeah, that one is two days ago because Luke was holding the sells. It's US 500, right? SP 500. Damn, the swap's gonna be like. I don't know, man. I don't trade S and P five hundred. I only <laughs> the only index I trade is US thirty, and the only metal I trade is gold, and I don't trade any other stuff. So thirty minute is trying to flip up at this point. Um, yeah, it doesn't matter how is this gonna going to close at this point because we're gonna be looking for one minute one confirmation reversal. Okay, we're gonna be looking for. Uh, the, during the first five minutes, we're going to be looking for one minute reversal confirmations with only one confirmation and let's see, right? But the, the, the term and condition is the price need to move uh, enough liquidity grab for it for us to look for confirmations. If the price um, during the first five minutes is just going to be like this, right? It's going to be like this on one minute and then then I'm not going to be looking for any trades, all right? Because price is uncertain to the directions. But if during the one minute, for example, we go to one minute later. So if, for example, one minute later on, uh, it moves up first like this, we will strong one minute candlestick, and suddenly we have a one minute candlestick reversal. And then I'm going to take on the next one during the liquidity grab for the continuations to the downside. Right, this is just gonna be one minute confirmations later on, right? Either way, all right. Either way, depends on where the liquidity grab. If the liquidity grab to the downside, and then I'm gonna look for reversal, right? Only during the first five minutes of NYSE open, the first five minutes of the stock market open. All right, <coughs> let's see. Yeah. <laughs> Nice, nice food. loaf, nice loaf. You can belanger nice food for Brian. <laughs> can belanger him nice food. Still good fish. <laughs> Atas fish. All right, we have three minutes to go. Oh, I'm locking in funded. Okay, let me switch. Fish soup rice. Wow, sounds nice. All right, two minutes to go, guys. Are you guys ready for NYSE open? Let me hear you in the chat. Come on. Yes, sir. Plus one, plus one. Come on. Come on. Are you ready, guys? Plus anything you like. Six. All right, two minutes to go. Two minutes to go. All right, can we get this? Um, again, I was looking for reversals. Oh, shit. It fly down. Damn. Right. Um. Yeah, at this point, it can, it can be a continu continuation to the downside. Um. Let's just get this uh stock market list ready. Right. We have the CNBC news here, which we have the all the stock for US thirty. Yeah, much. 
this one here is a guideline um, for us to actually see if it's going to be aggressive to bullish or bearish or it's going to be consolidating right during the market open later um, everything is going to be showing green or red all right it depends at this this point i believe mostly are in red all right so one minute to go yeah. one minute one minute to go let's go let's go so guys if you anyone is new here feel free to comment in the chat ask any questions and then the telegram link is in the descriptions uh, our instagram is also in the descriptions felix and brian instagram is in the description so feel free to ask any questions if you are new here and again don't copy trade blindly and always trade at your own risk one minute to go a moment of silence let's see what? let's see moment of silence here moment of silence but Can today if gonna be like a news trade then the top week or bottom week is not valid right <clears throat> so we need to dep depends on the situations and the and the levels right yeah Right. Oh, what the fuck! Strong push down before. <laughs> Holy Ooh. shit! Whoa, 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 whoa! What happening? What happening, guys? What's... What is happening? All right. Right, pushing up, oh, pushing up. Liquidity grab. Come on. Oh yep. no, bottom weight, bro. Oh, god, 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 god! Chill, chill, chill. Yo, it form, it form, right? Yeah, form, right. Form. So pushing up, pushing up again. Um, liquidity, liquidity down, grab to the downside. Oh shit! We don't have yeah. confirmation. Yeah, we need to. Mm -hmm. No, not yet, not yet. Alright, still yeah, pushing yeah, up. Yeah. Still pushing up. Nice, nice. This is actually good for me. All right. Yeah, um, let's so just wait for. <laughs> yeah, the chart for trading view is always lagging. No, the MMF as well. No, it's fine for me. It's fine. Mm -hmm. I think you refresh. You take a look. Is your account still loading? Right. Oh, Six. No. oh shit! Let this is this gonna me. close bearish? Let me check. Let me check. Uh, oh shit! Oh, oh, oh shit! It's dropping already. I didn't get any trade. No confirmations at all. Shit. Uh, no confirmation okay. at all guys no confirmations the shit whoa fuck the <laughs> thing just dropped so like that a, a, a strong exhausting candle from the top it grabbed yeah. liquidity quite nice though actually yeah, quite, actually it grabbed a very nice point nice liquidity grab but it came back up a bit so it's kind of scary when the pump up you know yeah yeah you can pump all the way up you know that's why that's why it yeah. is kind of scary at that point mm -hmm so at this point we are still at the first five minute of nyse open 50 pips move mm -hmm. all right so if we have one confirmation fair enough, fair enough. for the top oh look hit your tp oh nice 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 congratulations <coughs> all right i'm not in any trade guys so we don't have any confirmations but if one minute like this it closed bullish and then um, we have a manageable risk to the bottom um, then i might be considering taking a buy for a retracement to the upside for potential like maybe 50 pips yes Let's this see. is applicable for uh before the five minutes right which is right now yeah then, we, we are still in the first five. Oh oh what the fuck yeah what the flying fuck <laughs> what's happening bro all right 90 five seconds to go <laughs> If it it, this risk is gonna be too much for me, then unless you want to take a sell here, you know, you're hoping it actually go down. See if look at uh if we have like a liquidity grab to the downside, you know. Yeah, but if you take a sell here, it's not make sense, like, you know. The, yeah, the risk is sense. Don't make sense. Don't put. But yo, what? Uh, no, uh, no. Uh, it should be break even already. Blue <laughs> mm. say take sell and let it go down with me. <laughs> you say take a sell? Actually, yeah, I mean, if you want to take a sell, you can actually put a stop loss like 30 pips up. 
but we have no confirmation. You know, it actually yeah. ch- tap open levels and shit down again. Yeah, at this point, I think it's gone. Gone to unless, unless it's will try to flip up. Anyway, guys, this is like a uh, five minutes before the usual trades. Yes, it's more yes, like yes. Topic, right? even though let's say we don't catch it, don't worry about it. Right, we still have a lot of trades behind. And especially right. it's with the team. Okay, movement is slow now. What's going on? Let's wait for five minutes to close at this point. Right? At this point, yes, wait for five minutes to close already. All right. Yeah. Um, let's see if it's flip up to I mean close above. All right, I mean break even. <laughs> what? Yo, yo, I'm I'm so fucking silent, you know, like I can feel that it was like this guy is so so quiet <laughs> over the fuck. <laughs> yeah, I will I will I will I told you guys yeah, if I yeah, one yeah, minute yeah, here. Yeah. yeah, I'm in a buy yeah. with a like nice 30 pip stop loss. Let's go. Damn. Right? Um I'm in 30 pip here. I didn't call it out, but I mentioned if I in very early on the stream, I mentioned if I have one minute reversal. So I'm gonna take on the liquidity grab. So here am I um sitting at fifty yes, pips, right. fifty pips here. So um no bottom week, no bottom week. All right, I'm gonna close. Yeah. Because this right. is like a first green candle and like Felix explained. Yes. Uh, it actually closed up and I should try to grab But it's actually um possible to go to eighty one pips, but I close at forty four, right? Forty four oh. pips here. Slippage. Sorry? Is it slippage or what? Um no. It it can be 50 pips, but I when the moment I closed, you told me like no bottom weight, then I closed quickly. I think it came down a bit. Right. Yeah, so 44 pips US to uh 50 log five. It's fine. Right. Yeah, I didn't call funded or oh I, my funder is gonna be after 10, bro. <laughs> yes, right, at, right. Eight thirty five m So again, I didn't call this out, but I mentioned what trade I will be looking at just now. All right, if the price gonna be moving in one direction for liquidity grab during the first five minutes, this is for example, um, this is the open trade, right? Uh, MIC open. It moved down, um, very obviously to the downside, and then we have the first candlestick. All right, we have the first candlestick here. We have the first candlestick to the bullish and then the next one i was really waiting for it to at least go down to you know at least the uh, almost the rejection zone for me to take a buy with a 30 pip stop loss right then i took a buy here um expecting to go at least 50 pips and then i close at 50 pips when brian 44 pips when brian say uh don't have a what the week what the week yeah yeah. but it can be a continuation to the upside at this point uh because five minute close nice bullish here right we are still you know closing above these structures so it can be a continuation to the upside but at this point i already closed this trade so goodbye yep so at this point we're gonna be wait waiting for the next time it's gonna be 9 45 m so i was i was so silent i was looking at the trade and then my finger is trying to get ready if we find break even i was so focused and then brian is doing the talking and stuff so um, yeah. and th- the moment before i entry i was also very focusing and then um just want to get in at the nice point that i can set a 30 pip stop loss exactly at 500. luckily you close bro because this yep. is like a small reversal for me to be honest all right so but, i'm gonna yeah yeah it's good, it's good. Because it's good, it's good. Good. luckily you remind me about the no bottom week. Because I'm not looking at my ch- at the chart, I'm actually looking at the numbers. I yeah. see. Right, so yeah. No top week. <laughs> I don't know. Right now at, at this point, I just wait for five minutes of at least 15 minute closure, right? So we're gonna look for another uh setups and 15 minutes close green. Is a good sign for us to a continuation of the upside, right? right before FOMC. FOMC, long way to go. Yeah, yeah. Right. 
ยับลูฟกับไบฟอนวิกส์บอทเทมแอนโลไรต้องจะเซลฟ์ฟอนเดอะบอทเทมไรท์ไอจูส์มาร์กดาวน์ไมรีพอร์ตไอเฮฟเอ็กซ์เทรดดิ้งรีพอร์ตไรท์นาวที่ไอดูฟอร์เอเวอร์เทรดใช่ใช่ตัวเดียวไม่ต้องจัมอินอีกหนึ่งเซคันด์เทรดของไม้ฟอร์บิดเดนส์ฟอร์บิดเดนส์ครับโซไรท์นาวเอ่อมันจะมีสวิตชิ่งอัคคาวน์ไปอัพเลือกกลุ่มอีกแล้วเอ่อมวิชวันเดียวไลค์เออย่าโซอันนี้ตอนนี้เราอยู่ที่ 9.15 พีเอ็มในเวลาที่ถูกต้องใช่ไหมโซ At this point, let's see what is the price gonna do here, right? And we have 15 minutes is trying to close bullish. Oh no, it flipped down, right? 30 minutes is trying to close bearish here, so it can be a continuation to the downside, right? It respected the this key level here, and then four hours is closing in another 20 minutes. So, uh, if this four hour close bearish below the structures, then definitely. We're gonna be looking for continuation to the downside from here, right? Maybe to a sell for continuation to the downside. If four hour close below the structures, um, one hour, uh, yes as well, right? And lead to tap the bottom of uh four eight three, right? So price right now is being very un very uncertain about the direction, trying to move up and down, so staying up at this point. Wow. Go, I think go is is still slow, but take it down and let it go down. Definitely now, right? Go is definitely shooting down because there's no bottom bit in five minutes. Uh, go. Oh, go here. Yeah, go. Go here is moving down. Yes, Brian. Yeah, definitely. But I I wouldn't say definitely. But um, from this structure is how it broke it, right? Right. If this is this okay, I just remove my buy limit, all the stuff here, right? Um, and then if this structures is broken, all right, this zone is broken, and this level is broken, sixteen point uh fifty four. If this level is broken and it close below, so it might be a continuation to the downside. Look at thirty minute, all right? It already trying to break to the downside. One hour is closing with a strong bearish candlestick, right? Uh, and let me update my gold trade for the runner just now. I think I close at. Yeah. Uh, close to wait, I, mean, I check how many pips. Let me check how many pips. Just a moment. Yeah, sure. But if if this gold close below one six four five four, right, you're gonna have a retest maybe slightly above like maybe ten pips for it to go down, right? But this candle, what I'm looking at five minutes, right? It have a high chance to actually flip red. You know what I'm saying? So. This is where I'll be looking to sell, if it's like you know around London sessions. But right now, I'm focusing on US thirty, so I'm looking at trades here. Yeah. But if you guys want to look for goals, you gotta wait, right? Wait until at least drop to one six five four, right? Because this is still pumping up, and fifty minute might be closing really slightly higher. The next one gonna be have liquidity grab to the upside before it actually continue to the downside, right? Back to US thirty guys. Uh, the yeah. bad year for me go just stayed up until FOMC happened, right? I think you should call it a day for go. Um, no, unless you want to look for unless you want to look for continuation to the downside, as Brian said. Getting down the thirty thirty. Yo, luckily you asked me to close, man. Damn. Yeah, bro. If not, I'll be in another break-even trade. Like, fuck. <laughs> yep. Damn, I missed the sales, bro. Fuck. Now how it's can like... you miss this sell? This sell have no confirmations, bro. <laughs> no, no, no. It's slightly below, slightly below. My sell is gonna be like around five six zero, man. That's three three candle for me. Oh. One minute. Is it yeah. like five six zero? Yeah, I, I, I don't get it. I don't get it. <laughs> Maybe okay. from five minutes. When five minutes fit. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, it can be. It can be though. It's, it can be quite nice also. Yeah. This movement same like yesterday and two days before. You know? Slowly yeah. moving to the downside and it break down. When five minutes flip, right, it's quite nice though. 
Yeah, it, it's quite nice. But at this point, because the timing is not right, so I'm away for 50 minutes, 50 minutes. Right, let me check the second trade. What should I be looking for? So uh, right now, um, the time is between 8.35 a.m. Eastern time to 10 a.m. Eastern time. So second trade, we will be looking for two confirmations at key level. Right, 1.5% risk here, 30 point stop loss, and looking for one to two risk reward or more. All right, should we? Um, number of trade cool. is only one. All right, five minutes. Minute, five minutes is trying to push up. Sorry. Yeah, this is like a second confirmation to buy. <laughs> yes, is perhaps it is. Um, let's just wait for fifteen minute candle closures, and then we can take a look into uh this one. Right. Wow, it was first. Uh, we have already second. And if this flip rate, I'm gonna miss the sales. Huh? If Why? Close. Nah, nah, just shoot, just shoot. Because but this, like again, depends how 50 minute close, right? If 50 minute close bullish, then yes. But if 50 minute close bearish below these structures, then uh, let's remove this first. I don't want confusion here. Right. Yes, um. Let's sir. see how this fifty minute gonna close. Damn. Oh. So if fifty minute close bearish, then it gonna nice. be continuation to the downside here. Right. No buy. No buy at all. Okay. Cool. Cool. No buy. No buy. I'm not taking when. Yeah. Yeah. No, 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 no buy. No buy. Right. It no buy. I'm gonna look for sales in it, but instead the level is around. Five five zero around this level. Five five. I think we really push push higher I know push higher because five six zero it tap one two three four candle right. Yeah. So for me it's gonna be five nine zero the best for me la, Just personally for me I'm gonna look for this. Uh, yeah yeah. It's, it's very hard to happen I know it. It's very hard for it to come back six hundred level to go down. Um, but at this point mm. um, it's just yeah. trying to move down right. Trying to push down here. Oh, and I forgot about bear. Our, our bias is bearish. Yes, and I, the so. first trade I'm looking for is buy. <laughs> <laughs> but that one is impulsive trades, right? So yeah, it's, it's yeah impulsive. Yeah, impulsive. Oh, no, no bother with shade. Chill one minute trade. This one minute candle. Don't be bothered with that. Right now it's slipping up. Nice, nice slip up. All right, but if you want to take it. You manage your risk, right? You, you get me? I know yeah, you yeah. feel like taking it. I know you feel like taking it, but always mm -hmm. just manage your risk. It's for sure, bro, for sure. Right. So um personally I'm not taking any trade until um we have some retracement, right? Retracement yeah. continuation. I mean I mean break even, but it actually can came back up. You in break even and go down. Nah. nah. Not yet, not yet. But you are in the trade? No. Okay. Okay, fine. Okay, fine. Oh, she, my bro, is regretting not to take a sell. <laughs> so many sells for me, but I don't take a trade. Damn. Yeah, you can never be predicting all these. No man. bottom week again. Far. No bottom week. Don't be tempted, bro. It can be a trade. Can be a trade. Yeah, I know. Bro. It can fly At this up. point, we are already so low. We are actually near to a rejection zone. We are near to the daily previous low. Only right? one hour. Yeah, one hour can reject. Up. We are thirty pips away from the daily previous low. Just let it break. Let it break or let it respect. All right. When we have some retracement to the upside, um, I think that's the best time for us to take a sell. Right, even though we don't get it, even though we don't get it, so that's gonna be it. Be patient, bro. Be patient. Yeah, be Trade. patient and um take a look on the CNBC. We have everything bearish. Just a few um tiny penny here is green, right? Um, not even more than I think six. Not six of them is green. Most of them is red. No constant waves. Uh, at this point, um, pushing up, pushing up. Um, it's good to see it push up. It means that it giving us a chance to look for a sell, right? If you have yeah. some confirmations. Well, this is nasty, man. It came back up, go down, came back up, go down, came back. Uh, you could say UF30 and Gold will go down after FOMC. 
um, never know, right? In that case, I will find out in morning. Maybe I will take a look on the chart a little bit during the morning when I just woke up, right? FOMC going to be uh, midnight for me in my country. Sell on the next impulsive push up. Loof is being the evil here. <laughs> it's tempting me, bro. <laughs> Jay is third. Go, go. What go? What happened to go? Go is pushing up again. So, um, I have no idea at this point. Uh, for me, it's still continuation to the bearish because we have, don't have a nice bottom week. So at this point, um, depend on how this 30 minute candle close and then uh, we will see, but I'm already not in uh, any gold trade or not looking for any gold trade as well. Uh, and then if tomorrow I message you with a money emoji means equities go down. I'm going to be waiting for that, right? Maybe you message Brian a fish. That means like fish, fish soup. <laughs> then that's better. That's even better, bro. That's even better. Yep. It means if I message a crying face, oh no, maybe you don't. Don't just don't message me crying face. You just keep quiet. You know, like we we know that you keep quiet. Then maybe you don't. Bro, I hope you TP, bro. Yeah, I I I hope you TP before the F one C. I thought he already TP just now. He said have remaining 100 piece. Oh, okay, so, okay. Yeah. Man, today is slow as fuck. Um, just chill, just chill. You know? Yeah, it's a down, but there's no, no entries for me from the inducement camp. I'm gonna put another structures here based on 30 minutes. So it can be a um a, a, a key lever to actually look for minor resistance for sell though right um instead on uh, the top here i'm gonna remove it and then um daily point of view uh we have still the fibonacci on so it's down here right so remove this as well um it's approaching towards um daily previous low here right very very close very very close At this point, I just wait for one hour. You know what? FOMC gonna be pumping down. <laughs> I got this feeling. I don't know why. Pumping down? Yeah. There's whole range for it to feel it. One hour. You, you mean USD go strong? <laughs> can, it can. I don't know. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> Damn, man. US dollar is sexy as fuck, man. Bro. If you guys don't know what is going on, yeah, because Malaysian ringgit is like um multiple of four, you know, the multiple of four from the USD. So it's like the conversion rate is freaking high, you know. It's like if you earn USD, people are gonna be like, wow, yeah, wow, you know, that the counting. I'm going to be a wow myself, like, wow. <laughs> You're going to wow for a payout, bro. <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, another one coming soon for another three days. Uh, right. uh, this Friday, I'm going to send the email. Cool. Yeah. That's cool. Oh, we I have a push it. up. Nice one, nice push. No so, bottom week. No bottom week. Uh, I don't care, I don't care. One minute? Yeah, one minute. Yeah, don't. Uh, I mean, if you want to do it, yes, because it's no, 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 approaching. No, not now, bro. No, 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 no. Yeah, sure. again, 10 m Eastern time is the best. Let it close. All right. At this point, I'm gonna be waiting for 10 m Eastern time, and then I think um for this account, I'm not gonna be. Oh, maybe I'm. Let's move I'm... for the funded, bro. Let's move for the funded. Maybe I'm gonna continue trade this account and then forget about funded, right? <laughs> sure. As you wish. Yes. 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 I need this to tap the broken structures, right? Five minutes gonna be around five four, at least five four five this level. Mm -hmm. Then one hour I can look for a pump up, then maybe continue to the downside. Yeah. yeah. But if this one hour maybe before the you know before the ten a.m. the last few minutes, it reject all the way up, right? Then. It's nasty, right? No, and when you say when you say that, it can really happen sometimes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If, if, you, if you see fifteen minutes, it's actually on the zone, you know, in the zone, right? Yeah, it can yeah. be worth really like a double double bottom, that kind of thing. I mean, yeah. you guys want to call it that way, right? 
yeah if if you say it out it can sometimes it can really happen you know like yeah. us 30 can do crazy stuff like suddenly this whole one hour candlestick flip bullish and then the whole trend just move into bullish like fly but um again today for me not so maybe not maybe not for today because daily and four hours point of view is still super bearish at this point so let's see right um i believe the momentum is slow the volume is small because of fomc later on so uh, we don't have huge volume before fomc so people are gonna be waiting for the news i perhaps so at this point um they are holding their bullets they're holding yeah, their shitting bullets. Shitting down, shitting down. Shitting down, damn, sheesh. Yeah. You One minute chart help though. Each no bottom we can do, right? It flip always. Yeah. But five minutes is more accurate, I would say. I mean, uh, in a bigger picture time frame. But one minute gives me the most details. I know uh, one minute one minute can can flip, but the, the thing is it flip and then that's the room for the flip is maybe just 10 pips or five pips maybe it can flip down to create a bottom wick for example five pips and then suddenly it came back up again you get me yeah i get you i get you yeah, so that's the thing that's why i don't look at one minute no bottom wick stuff unless it's like a it's like a yeah. entry kind of thing cool yeah oh <laughs> no top wick no top wick oh fuck okay the so let's mark the green zone <laughs> the fleet though oh no i'm not gonna look for buys not yeah today. yeah we're gonna look for 10 a.m yeah 10 a.m not today and it's not key lever first thing is not key lever and then it's against my daily bias yeah, so bias remember that our bias uh, yesterday I, I already made some mistakes so today stick to the plan yeah you can you see it came back up and going going to go down soon um but seems nice lot to be honest it's nice but yeah, the time, timing is not nice so yeah it's close to one hour closure so at this point no 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 because unless one hour <laughs> yeah unless, at least, unless i'm gonna be like close at 10 pips and my stop was 40 pips and then i'm gonna close at 10 pips oh let's go guys we close at 10 pips yeah that was like you know done for the day tp1 heat you know oh <laughs> yeah fuck. Good, 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 it's good you know the county right so four hour here is clo definitely closing bearish well one hour and four hour is definitely closing bearish as well um the thing is i want to see a liquidity grab to the upside on the next one hour candlestick right for us to look for ourselves for continuation to the downside so this is what I'm what I'm looking for and Brian looking for as well. But the thing is the liquidity grab can be as high as this one or it can be at as low as like 20 pips liquidity grab. So we never okay. know. Yeah, we never know how far the liquidity is gonna be. So let's wait and see if we can catch something. All right? Okay, let's switch to funded account. Oh damn! Our bro is trading funded. I'm not with you today. Too bad. No worries, bro. Right, because we already okay. moved. For me, already moved a lot to the downside. So even though I'm trying to look for a sell, and then the thing is, uh, before FOMC, uh, I think a lot of people mentioned that the volume is gonna be slightly smaller, uh, compared to usual. So. I'm not so comfortable with trading funded, so I'm just gonna be just continue with the challenge account at this point, and then see if we can catch some nice move. All right, two minutes to go, guys. Two minutes to go. So, Sorry, even though I'm holding the funded, my pull out game is strong. So <laughs> let's go, let's go. As long as you raise you, someday you should you you should go you you should trade that. But just aim for a very small profit, like two percent, three percent profit. It's good for the month, bro. Just imagine that if you get back your refund, your bonus, basically you risk nothing for this account already. So just go for this mindset. And then the next next month next one when you have like 80% profit, maybe you can aim for more if you want. Like you can aim for five percent to six percent or three to five percent. The first month, if you can even do like ten dollar profit or one cent profit, 
if you can hold your greed and then just let just get back your refund then uh, you mean, you I are on a different it. level you can do that Thirty-three dollar profits right now in funded yeah so <laughs> if you can do that i mean if you really can do that you get back your refund that's another level i personally i cannot that's do that level, bro. that's another level man i cannot do that personally maybe i will yeah. do that if i get my next funded yeah maybe when we maxed out the mmf you know uh, Pen A, I'm not trading FOMC, so I don't have any command because FOMC is going to be midnight for my time, so I'm going to be sleeping. Um, at this point, for me, um, daily buy is bearish for US 30, uh, and this point goal seems like it's moving bearish as well. Um, but it all depends on FOMC move, right? So try not to predict FOMC, just go, just react with it, right? Just see what is going to be happening. And I don't suggest, I don't recommend anyone trying to put like buy stop, sell stop, buy limit, sell limit during the news because it can really give you a very painful slippage. All right. Your stop loss will never protect your account. Right. Yeah, I mean, uh, if you ask me, FMC last month, it shit down. If I'm yeah. not mistaken, don't go shit down. Uh, yeah, yeah, shit down. You guys can join Raja Bank for FOMC, but I'm going to. Yeah, yeah. It's gonna be you know just put a sell then boom. Oh we what have bro well, well, we have the 30 minute candle open, all right? 10 and oh, time oh, right oh. now. The the liquidity grab is too too low. Mm, nothing mm. for me actually. Nothing, nothing. It's not even it's not even 10. Oh minutes. shit, it flipped up, man. So nice. So nice at the one minute la, but again yeah, the yeah, buy, the mean, bias is bearish, so no yes sir all right so at this point we will want to see a liquidity grab somewhere here or maybe higher um for me to look for confirmations for sell all right so at pushing five, up. five three zero uh, you know five three zero. higher i would say higher yep come on come on baby come on right pushing pushing nice 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 push um, up, up, right up. but the, the yeah. oh wait 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 the, the chart froze the chart no it, it flies so fast um i scared it just come down without any confirmation that's the thing i'm worried about yeah right so let it be no, no, bottom, wave. no bottom wave shit no i'm just let it be bro one minute bro let it be yeah let it be, let it be. even down. if you want to take a sell yes you can but i'm i won't i won't take a sell right i won't mm -hmm. yeah yeah feel you so you took it <laughs> yeah, just I'm gonna chill with this. Uh, maybe the 10, 15, and some time. I'm definitely like chilling. <laughs> Luf like say it. sell now. Luf say, hey, not me, uh, guys. Chill. I'm not saying that. Luf <laughs> say sell now. Impulsive push up then sell, huh? I afraid I I sell it and then everyone thought that I'm selling. I'm not selling. So Luf say. Not the way I'm not selling. Chill, chill, chill. Let me yeah, check no, the no, definitely. It's like no, shit, five minutes, tap the broken structure. You can take it, but with a manageable risk, uh, again, manageable stop loss, um, you can consider taking it. Maybe I'll look at the higher higher side. Yeah, Luf, you just close it before FOMC, before you sleep, you know, what for you want to uh, torture yourself. Oh, bro, look at this, man. Oh. I said it. All right. Um, depends on thirty minute. This is the first uh key level where the structure is broken um from the body of previous um rejections here. So at this point, uh, this can be the first confirmations, right? Mm -hmm. This can be the first confirmations here, and then um, let it close. Just let it close first. Half second. Nine second, um, five minute is closing. Bullish. Oh, moment of silence for me. Oh, pushing up. No bottom weight, but not for me, man. Thank you, thank you, SFX. Thank you, thank you. Hey, I'm holding my balls. Fuck. Right, I'm. I'm not in any trade, but. This is only the first confirmation and it's already trying to break up. So uh I would say yeah. no. 
No. Uh, I'm surprised I'm able to hold it, man. Hold my boss. Oh, whoa. Come on, chill. You, you, have, just... your, you have your stop loss then this fine, bro. Yeah, I know. Wow. Nice, nice. So, again, no, all right. No, 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 no. So, it's shitting down. If this sweep buried, then I'm going to put the arrow. But now, it's still trying to break up. So, yes, sir. So, FFX, where are you from? Where are you from? I think it's the first time for you here. Anyone that's new here, feel free to come in the chat and let me know. And for those who are here for long, please uh, help me to hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel if you are not subscribed yet. And we have our Telegram link in the description. You good? Wow, 10 a.m. seems like an ugly day for me. The bottom um, is good. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. It's one minute. I mean, five minutes closing soon, closing bullish here. Let's so um, I'm waiting for more confirmation at this point. Right? But it still seems like a. Uh, I don't I I did not see any reversal at this point. Um the thing is this is also a rejection zone to be careful about. So price might really suddenly retrace to the upside um at least a little bit or a little bit more. Yep. Anything right, can more. happen, right? Yes. Right, Being one hour to... still pushing. Oh no bottom week for five minutes, bro. Uh, Oh fuck! But this is um, I would say risky lah. Yeah, risky. Yeah. But just we say go shit down. That's what it, it is. If we did grab to the upside and shit down, yeah. How, how about how about my FF man? Sorry, my FF don't have a bottom week as well. You mean go or US thirty? Yeah, yeah, US thirty don't have. Oh, why is my chart lagging? Oh, uh, um, yeah. Okay, now, now it's moving. Yeah, it was lagging just now. Um, yeah. go. I can be a sales now, right? I mean, I can, I can take the trades just now. But, uh, we are actually trading US thirty here, and I, I don't want to be uh, distracted. Just like we say, I mean, just now previously, there's no bottom week on five minutes previously, and it pumps up. And what I'm looking at is basically push up and a long week down, right? Yeah, it happened really before the or it's around like 945 number six. This is so tempted, bro. But this is not in my plan. I want two confirmations, but this no bottom week is so no oh I feel you, but okay, let, so let's wait for one flipping down, it's flipping down. You mean one minute? Oh shit, it flipped down. Yeah, because five minutes is a liquidity grab if you have yep. Um five uh, minutes still not flipping up, flipping down. At this point If this flip down is really late. It's okay actually as long as the risk is I there. It's late. Yep. Oh why the fuck the my web keeps No idea bro. Huh. I want to enter actually, but my web freeze. Oh, now oh, it came it back. Came, huh? Coming down, coming down. Coming up. Coming. Came back. All right, all right. So good, good, good one. Luckily, we are not in. All right. So thanks for the free for my FF. Thanks. All right. It's keep coming back up. But, it create uh, it create yeah, a bottom wave. Another entry. Let's go right. for another. Entry. Oh, shit. All right. When we okay. say that no bottom wave, all right, just now we can see no bottom wave and the price just fly up without a bottom wave. That's a high chance of 80% or 90% for it to really click to create a bottom wick like this, uh, create some body and bottom wick. All right, maybe continuation to the downside, but now it's coming back up. Right, that's the tricky part. Tempted, bro. Fuck. What's the time? What's the time, bro? Uh, Zero seven. Um, I'm going to wait for 10, 15, and I, as you said, it's your lucky timing, right? Yeah, yeah. At this point, let's just wait for my lucky timing, right? Let's just wait. Let's just wait for 10, 15 and the time, right? Because 15 minutes gonna close. If this close bullish, the next candlestick can still push up, right? So let's just wait. But fuck. If this five minute close no, this fucking clean for me, man. But but okay. no, no, if this five minute close bearish, then it's a different story. Then we can 
we can look for uh, some sell you know just wait for this five minute close all right i missed some sales today once True. anyway don't worry chill the market is always there for us as long as we don't get our expert yeah all right um i would say we wait for this five minute candle closure all right if this five minute candles close bearish and then the next one uh, grab liquidity to the upside and then we can look for a sell for continuations to the downside but if this close bullish then i'm going to remove all my zones here and i'm going to wait for 10 15 a.m eastern time right for a sell on go wow i hope you took it around 1652.3 maybe that that's the reverse point um i'm not looking at go now because already done already done for go it's my first day just started analyzing us study so found your channel glad to be part of your community hope everything goes well yes we're going to be streaming every day for us study and go so feel free to join and if you talk about us study we're just going to be talking about yesterday for one hour which is the nyc open during the new york Stock exchange open so feel free to hop in every day like a 9 15 a.m sometime to 10 30 a.m sometime and also the telegram link is in the descriptions we will have most of the updates in the telegram and if you want to see our histories uh, trading history and uh our sharing right feel free to check out the instagram is in the description as well we know no bottom way what the okay this is tempered bro what you late, think late, what bro. shit fucking late man nah nah i didn't take this right <laughs> Okay, coming out. Okay, by the way, I, I mean, if I mean, you guys could probably be here like from either from Facebook, either from Xiaohongshuo, either from Instagram, or just randomly scroll through Discord and stuff. Yeah, I mean, welcome back. You know, welcome uh, to be part of here. You know, so I mean, uh, we are just doing like uh, a sharings. You know, everyone is learning here, learning new things as well. Bro, the the no top week just uh, no bottom week just now is like fucking yeah, nice. Bro, bro we are so in sync as fuck it's fucking nice just now like why the fuck nice, we are nice, not nice. in yeah, that's the thing. just now no bottom weight huge rejection and then it just pump flip five five now, nine that, that's the that's the entry i'm looking at five five nine yes yeah, will it still come back oh oh no top weight just now yeah it fly back no bottom weight now no bottom weight now bro oh my event yeah yeah five, five. oh we just wait for 10 15 now bro yeah mean one minute is Green, red, green, red, green. I actually try to break up. Oh. But the rejection is nice. The rejection is nice on five minutes, though. Yeah, yeah. 15 minutes is. Oh, oh pushing, 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 pushing. Damn. Good, right? Good. So it's in our zone. But if this break up, then yeah. no no sell. Okay, guys? And if this break, break up. Zero, yeah. If this break up the zone, then no sell for me. I'm looking for the second confirmation here. Right, second combination. Um, oh, let's see no. on the next candlestick. Sorry, right, this close super strong here. Oh, this guy's scalping so hard. All right, I'm gonna be ready. Should I? Um. Oh no! Oh way. fuck! It come back. It come back up though. I it came know. back up. It came back up. Right weird you flip down now flip down weird to be honest weird it is let me check the race here is nasty man. um 15 minute is closing soon all right um but i'm in now actually <laughs> Straight and in. Yeah, back I'm, to my entry here. Yep, I'm relatively quiet as well. Yeah. yeah. Let's see. Should we put this and wait for fifty minutes? I already no. in, bro. Wow. I already in. Like, yeah. how how can I close it? Yeah, I feel you. Sheesh. <laughs> <clears throat> i'm not in i'm not in i'm not in i mean i mean i mean all right i'm in when the price like rendering around so my risk here is gonna be 30 pips so definitely fine for me 
but I don't want it to be close stop loss, obviously, at this point, but it's closing super strongly. Oh, shit. Oh, but basically, we have 77 viewers. Nice, 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 nice. Right, 70 yeah. viewers seeing me close this trade as stop loss. <laughs> yeah, no worries. You guys are seeing me 10 15, right? Take this. MPF nah, I should, I should wait for 10 15, man. I'm not. Yeah, I'm, shit. I'm ready, my friend. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Shit, I should be waiting for 10 15 a.m. sometime. What am I doing here? By the way, all right. Yeah, I mean, for MF, we can keep refresh. Yes, so as long as you don't have what violations, uh, hit one month cycle and is profit, right? I mean, whatever, like one cent profit or one dollar profit is fine, right? You can take the retakes any day, whatever time. I mean, how many times you can take that? <clears throat> My retakes takes like one time for 100k account, yeah. Shall we, man? Shall we go down, bro? Shall go we go down? Down at least. Come on, let's go, bitch. Let's go. But wait, wait, your your stop loss where where is it stop loss? Uh nine five, nine five. Oh, okay, okay. Bitch, yeah. I thought you've gone already. I thought you've gone already. I'm not gone yet, I'm not gone yet. Still Ooh. surviving here. Whoa. Okay, let's wait for 15 minutes. Back to my entry, back to my entry, guys. So and then again 20 pips, I'm gonna be in break even. I need a pump up. I need a pump down. <laughs> <laughs> shit, no bottom week just now. Eh, no top week yeah, just yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. Shit. But this week is damn long, man. Um, but my yeah, stop loss is actually, you know, safe above. So if this hit stop loss means the continuation to the upside, so continuation to the upside. Fifty minute close. But if thing is okay, let's remove everything. Five minutes, we have rejections a lot here, you know, because the yeah. cat, the body is become smaller, smaller, and then we have huge rejection from the top. The thing is, it can still go up and hit my stop loss before it come down. So that's the nasty part of US 30. Hmm. So let's see. All right, let's see. You know, even though if I want to close at my entry here, I can close, but... Ah... Uh... Do I take a no top week, no top week. Um, don't take, you know, wait for the things high up, right? Yeah, I, I, I need, this is ugly, bro. It pumps up and pumps down. Yeah, yeah it's, it's kind of ugly for me too. Five minutes is slowly going up. At least give me a red candle. Right? Oh no! <laughs> Come on, go. Uh, US thirty. You've been trading me bad this way. Come on. Come on. Give girl. me some sweet candy here, right? I just want twenty pips in profit. I'm gonna be in break even. Let's fucking go. Ooh. Hey, why the fuck my I... my FF is stuck here? Yeah, what? yeah like I missed it. No, oh, why the fuck my FF is stuck? You stop. My is doing, doing fine though. Really? Yeah, it's, it's shitting down, it's shitting down. No, I want to change my break even, bro. Your break even is where? No, oh, I think even somewhere even. I'm, I'm in 10 pieces, but oh shit. Yeah, yeah. That's just you, bro. You just quit, Re reload, reload. Yeah. I restart, restart. Okay, it's fine now. It's fine. Yeah, back, back to entry, back to entry. Um, okay, I'm almost. Uh, just oh, fight. It's my turn to froze. Wait, wait. It's my turn to froze. Wow. Yeah, it's not frozen. Okay, ten pips, ten pips up, twenty pips. I'm gonna in break even, right? Soon, very okay. soon. One finger away, one finger away to be in break even. Five pips, five pips. Let's fucking go. Let's fucking go. Right. Oh uh, shit. Hey, okay, this is what I'm talking about. Five minute need a red candle down, right? I'm still uh not in break even yet though. Oh, no top uh no bottom week. Yeah, it can go down. So shit. yeah, yeah, just let it be. Oh shit. Scaring me, man. You're not in break even, right? Not yet, not yet. 
Right? I mean, break even, guys. Break fucking even. Let's uh, fucking go. Yeah. Felix Let's Felix. fucking go, yeah. dude. Yeah. Let's fucking go. I thought you're gonna go, disappoint go. fucking me, man. This shit. Sorry for the swearing. So um, in myself. Damn. Why am I so conservative with this shit? Bro, you should, you should be conservative. Bro, you should be conservative. You should be conservative. Chill, bro. All right, so information for me, but I didn't took it. Um, what's the time now? Um, should I hold it for more? Thirty. Uh, okay, yeah, I'm gonna hold it for thirty minutes to flip. All right, at least thirty minutes to flip. Uh, if I don't get any sign of reversal, I won't close it. But if I get any sign of reversal, I'm gonna bro, close it. Close right? seventy pips. Seventy pips. All right, I I'll first listen step. to you. First I'll step, listen to you. All right, seventy uh, pips. Yo, what's your entry? Um, five six one. So I would say 60 pips, maybe 500, I'm going to be closing. Maybe right? around 515, the lows, the lows. Yeah. The lows, but we see how we see how we see what's the confirmation for that. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> no worries, the viewers get used to it. Dude, dude, don't come back. US 30, are you nuts? Oh, Luf, yours is 40 bucks. Nice. And we, yeah, we both, we actually taking MMF account. Right, uh, Felix at me, yeah. All right. Um, I'm still in. I'm still in here. I can. I can't be closing at twenty pips. Come on, it's it's not a reasonable risk reward for me. So I need it to pump down at least like fifty pips for me. All right. Come yeah, on. Yeah. All right. I I'm in. No. Oh shit. No top weight. Damn. Shit. So I. Um, you know what? I'm gonna be closing anytime, here. Anytime, bro. Anytime, bro. I'm I'm time. closing here. I'm closing here, guys. Because we don't have a top week, all right? At five minutes as well. I'm closing at. Yeah. What? You're I close. should. Yeah, I close thirty thirty one pips. All right. Yeah. Um, it's one to one. Deep. Fuck! Fuck this shit. Bro, I told you it's still shitting down five one five level, man. Anyway, right. We no, the thing is, bro, we cannot be perfect. The Shoot. thing is, no top wig. That's what the fuck. We have, we have a small wig. Just one minute. The moment I close, it dropped another 20 pips. 20 to my pips. Pips. Nah, it is, it's the TP day. To my TP anyway, already. No worries. I don't, I didn't catch any trade as well, bro. Be Fucking happy with shit. Pips, bro. Wow. Right. Um, guys. Um, Brian or my about forty bucks, guys. If you catch this trade with me and you understand the risk and understand anything, uh, you are not copy trade blindly about this. All right, feel free to send me your profit in my Instagram. My Instagram is in the description. You guys can check it out. All right, uh, my Instagram and Brian Instagram is here. All right, in the descriptions. All right, feel free to send me, uh, or tag me in the story. I will be posting that on my story. All right. If so, anyone send me that profit, I will be happy to post it. At my, it's like a journal, la, Yeah, it's my journal, can. journal of life, life trading. We got. Oh, your, oh yeah. nice. To sun made two hundred twenty on my ten k account. Nice one. Thirty minutes hey, flipping bearish. Congrats. congrats, congrats. Nice, 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 nice. But fuck, man, why I close? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, dude and oh top g 3k is that that's good holy shit top g nice one nice one guys send me uh, everyone with this trade in this trade tag me or tag brian feel free to go all right uh, i'm gonna update this personally for me i catch what 31 chain man 31 pips <laughs> profit is profit all right appreciate appreciate yeah appreciate, yeah all right I catch also. nothing. I catch nothing. Yep. I think it's fine though because you you fine though fine bro fine. Perfectly, perfectly fine. Um, but the time I close is um ten twenty a.m. Eastern time. The moment I close it, it dropped another twenty to thirty pips. All right. I'm, go. So I'm gonna journal journal it down on my trading. Report trading journal. This is a uh, yeah. I'm gonna have me head it to me later. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> sure, sure, sure. Skip this. I'm gonna make like a Google sheet for everyone as well. Yeah, because I think because someone asked about the Excel sheets. That, that one is the history, but this one is like a uh, trading. Uh, before okay, I I just recently start this. So before I trade, all right, before like one hour before I trade, I write down the account. All right, I I write down the number of trade I should be trading and this account, the risk I'm taking for this today, and then uh the stop loss for one trade and then the risk reward for one trade and then the term and conditions for me to get entry on a trade and also the specific timing I'm looking for a trade. For like this account, example, I'm looking for a trade uh, during 10 a.m. to 10.30 a.m. Eastern time. So I'm gonna be just taking one trade for this account specifically. So when I have this data for like at least one month to three months, then you can really, uh, from these notes that you take the journal and then you can really reflect on what is your mistake and what you can do better, right? So I recently just started Right. Like you, last time I used to do it on my phone, but right now I just decided to really uh, write it down. I think it's even better, you know, you have a physical uh, book or notebook or something. Right. So we close at um, 31 clips. Yep. But yeah, could have been 50 clips, but it's okay. right so any question guys before we end the stream i believe uh today's trade goes well all right the first one didn't call it out uh during the first five minutes because it's gonna be super impulsive so the first one did not call it out for this one but i explained what i'm gonna be looking for before the stream before nyse open so the second trade um, definitely calling it out and even it almost hit the stop loss I believe uh, 10 pips away from stop loss and then it came back down. Uh, we have a nice push down and then I personally close at 31 pips. Uh, maybe some of you close it better or you are still holding, right? Because 30 minute can definitely flip at this point and one hour also flipping. So the next level to be continued, maybe uh, 500 level, right? If you aim for big profit, you can take a look on 500 level or if you even if you want to swing it um just remember we have fomc uh, be careful about that so that's about it any question yeah, guys green yeah you can actually check out my instagram account in the description yeah i actually just uh received my uh, funder account yeah so yesterday so yes we are we both we are in my forex funds account yes yes that's about it and yeah, Felix, yeah. And yeah, that's about it. So um, good meeting you guys as well. Good meeting with you, uh, Bohang, right? So those who are new here, right? Uh, welcome, welcome. Hope to see you guys tomorrow again as well at um, 8.15 a.m. Some time we will be live streaming every day uh, around two hours, all right? 8.15 a.m. Some time and 10.30 a.m. Some time. So before you guys leave, feel free to check out the descriptions. We have Telegram link. We have our Instagram. We have a, a lot of information in the description. So that's about it for today. And thank you guys for being here. So adios. We shall see. See you. Right. See you guys.